to correctly put this little Tapcon in a block wall, brick wall or whatever, first thing you need to do is drill you a hole. This is the size you need. Stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how this bit will work with this, or will it? All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be talking about Tapcons. Now, believe it or not, this is the fifth time I've done this video. Why? Because they're so long. I wanna teach you everything about Tapcons, but it just goes on. And nobody wants to see that, or at least I do, but I know how to do it. So we're gonna do this very quickly. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you need, the drill bit size, the safety features you need, uh, the impacts, the drills, all that you need. It's gonna be wrapped up right here in this video really quick. Now, let's talk about two different size Tapcons. Now, first of all, they make 3 16ths all the way on up. This is the size I like. This is a quarter inch, all right? It's a quarter inch diameter. All right, they come in all different lengths. This is also a Tapcon, quarter inch. You see the difference? One on my left, can't stand at all. Why, because it has a screw head. If you know anything about Tapcons, they work, yes, 100% fine, but I don't like them. So we're not gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about these with the quarter inch heads. Now, let's talk a little bit about the size you need, all right? Now, to get this correctly in your wall, the bare balls minimum, or the BBM, you need to figure out the length that you need. So, what is the correct way to do it? All right, now you can do it the construction way, like normal everybody else does it, or you can do it by the manufacturer spec. We're gonna talk about the manufacturer spec first, then we're gonna talk about the construction way, which is the way that I normally would do it. But, what is the manufacturer spec? All right, manufacturer spec is this, plain and simple. They say, so whatever, you're putting up, let's say you're putting a one inch board on a block wall or whatever, all right? You have to add a minimum of one inch up to an inch and three quarter. Now, so let's say you have an inch board. You need what? Two inch Tapcon minimum or two and three quarter. Now, what would normal people in everyday construction do? You look on the truck, oh crap, here's what all I got. I've got, you know, this size, and I got this size, all right? You can see the difference, they're pretty different, right? I mean, there's all kinds of different sizes I got here. But what do you do? Well, first thing you need to make sure of is that your collar right here is definitely gonna be able to attach to whatever you're using. So in other words, if you're looking at a block, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, there's a void in here. We gotta talk about this. This might be a little bit longer than normal, but we have to talk about the basic stuff that I try to teach people that work with me because this is the way I want it. Now I'm gonna tell you what the manufacturer says, but I'm also gonna tell you what I say. From years experience, I've seen, well, let's just talk about this. So you definitely wanna make sure that all of your threads are into the meat of a block. Like I said, I'm gonna show you here in just a second what I'm talking about. You don't want this collar to be in a void. I'm gonna show you real quick. So in other words, you don't want this part of your no threads to be inside here because you have nothing to, to grab, right? Nothing, not at all. So this is gonna be not the right thing to use because the threads stop right here. Well, if you're just putting, a, let's just say a strap or electrical, or you're putting whatever, whatever you're putting on here, a little bar or whatever, you know, by the time you go through this void, uh, you're screwed. So I did there. If you're gonna do that and you wanna use this long one for whatever reason, try to go in the middle. Every block that I've seen always has a center web, or you can go to the edge, either edge. Got the same thing. Now. Do not go into the mortar joint. That's what I was gonna say earlier. Mortar joint is a no-go, all right? Plain and simple. So, would this work? Yeah, but if you're using an inch board, it's not gonna work because that's, that's not, gonna, it's not gonna cut it. You're only gonna be you know, just barely in here and you need a minimum of an inch, according to specs, manufacturer specs, to be able to hold something very tightly onto whatever you're using, whether it be a board, piece of strut, whatever the case may be. Now, I'm gonna take you outside real quick and I'm gonna show you some mortar joints, what not to go into. I Just please, for the love of God, don't go into the mortar joint. People do it all the time. And even the manufacturer says you can, but don't do it. It's the weakest point, plain and simple. I don't care if it's a brick, I don't care if it's a block, don't go into the mortar joint. All right, and if you don't know what I was talking about inside there, yeah, it's dark out here tonight, but you see these mortar joints? Some people like this to put the tap cone right in there, 
I mean, especially on a brick, they're a little bit more mortar, but it's still mortar. This is harder than this. I don't care what anybody tells you. Over the years, I've seen Tapcons come out. Now, I'm not gonna say it will, I'm not gonna say it will not. I'm saying over the course of my construction, these mortar joints are terrible, by the way. Um, I've seen them pull out. So, you know, if you're pulling wire or if you're mounting something that needs to be super stout, I don't know if I'd go in there. I'd just go ahead and in the brick. As you saw when I first came on here, I said that this was the bit. Now let's talk a little bit about the sizes. Now this is gonna be the same for every single Tapcon, the sizes I'm telling you, all right? This is not the right bit, first of all, because if you drill this in a block, guess what's gonna happen? Your bit's gonna fall right through, or your, your Tapcon. So what you wanna do, if you have a 3 16 Tapcon, which I do not, I have these right here, quarter inch, and these are by three and a quarter. If you're using a quarter inch Tapcon, this is important, so take notes. Quarter inch Tapcon requires a 3 16 masonry bit with a carbide tip. So this is what it looks like, but I'm gonna show you on this one. That's why I showed you this one in the get go, because this is your carbide tip right here, all right? This is what cuts into your block, your brick, whatever. It's the same on this one. It's got the same kind of carbide tipped on there. If it's not there, chuck it, go get another one. It's got to be a masonry bit. It's got to say masonry, all right? Because if you're using some carbide metal that says that on there and it doesn't say masonry, it's not gonna go in there. Now, do you have to use a hammer drill? Let's talk about that. No, you do not. You can drill straight in with a regular drill. If you're gonna use any drill, no matter what happens, safety glasses and earplugs is a must, guys. You've got to make sure you keep yourself safe. All right, before we get on the safety part, after you drill your hole, they say you need to clean your hole out, okay? I personally have never done that. The only time is when I'm drilling the floor because it's gonna sit there. So technically, I've never had an issue. They say you will, not saying you won't. I'm just saying I personally have never. If you take your time and you drill easy with your impact driver with the Malco bit that is reversible, that I did a video on, then you have no problems. All right, another thing I wanna talk about. If you're using a Tapcon this long, you don't wanna drill, you know, so deep into it, you know. You wanna make sure that you're, you know, somewhere, I personally like to go, like for this bit, I would go about that far over. Just what I would do. Now, you could put a piece of tape right around here to signify when you're drilling down that when the tape is on the whatever surface you're drilling into, then you gotta stop, right? Okay, so now we got that away. Safety, air protection, it's a must guys, eye protection. All right, if you're using a hammer drill like I started to mention, this sucker is so loud, oh my gosh. That's what you hear and it's freaking unbelievable. So we're not gonna use this one. If you don't like all that noise, I'm gonna show you a little something else that you might like. And it's this right here. Yeah, I look like a car salesman, don't I? But this is an SDS and this will change the game. How you drill tap cones or any bit. So this is what I use. Bought on Amazon, leave links to everything down below if you decide to use. My links, it will help my channel grow. Also, if you use this drill, for instance, it has a depth gauge, so you can put your tap con on there. You can use this, so it only goes so far. So what you would do, let's say you want, only want to go that deep. Well, the bit's not in there, obviously. So when it drills, and when it hits there, it's not gonna drill anymore, because this is in the way. So you're done. You know you are the correct depth, and everybody likes to go the correct depth every time. What do you drive your tap cons in with? You can drive them in with a wrench handheld wrench. Me, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna use an impact. You can use a drill. Just be cautious, do not break, snap the head. Baker, you hate these things. You'll snap the head, right? Don't snap the head. So we're gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna show you with, a, with the camera facing down into the hole so you can see it come through. Cause I'm gonna go deeper than I need to. Cause I, me personally, I have no issues with going deeper. I don't even mark the bits ever unless I'm using drop-in anchors, which we will eventually hit on that very shortly. Not right now, but that is coming up, so definitely watch for that. All right, 
earplugs, check, or earmuffs. Safety glasses with the side shields, check. Now we're gonna get the right bit in here. We're not gonna use, I'm yelling, I'm sorry. We're not gonna use this. I do wanna show you something with the drill. If you do not know, you're gonna learn something else right here. After you put your bit in here, all right, this is super easy. All right, we'll make sure it's good and straight. You tighten it up like this, all right? And then you roll it back one time and it'll lock this bit in place, listen. Boom, now it's not coming out. And you wanna put the drill on number three, or hammer drill, sorry, on number three, click, and put this, there's an arrow right here. You wanna roll it to hammer, so we'll roll it. Boom, and now it's time to sink your bit into this lovely block. Get it ready. Oh yeah, it's gonna get hot. All right, all right, here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do with all of our safety stuff intact, you see the tripod, the camera's looking down, you're gonna be able to see that here. We're just gonna drill, we're gonna drill right here, all right? We're gonna go ahead and just drill it. Earplugs in, we're gonna push minimal force. Some people push on the back, whatever you wanna do. If you got a good bit, you don't have to. So let's go ahead and drill it. All right, with your hole drilled, you see it blew out both sides. Take your drill, make sure it is, or your impact, make sure it is on 5 16 This one is, as you can see, put the tap cone in and watch how I run this, all right? Just push, 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 just go slow. And make sure you stay on it. Boom. And it's seated and it's tight. It didn't spin out. That's the main thing. We're good and tight in there. As you can see, looking down into it. Now, Let's back this one out and put a smaller one in. So you can see, you can reuse these holes if need be. I don't always recommend, you know, reusing your hole, but I'm gonna show you a way if you ream that hole out, how to fix it. Now let's go ahead and put this in. Boom, and it's in there tight. And it is not sticking out the back. So that's good and tight, y'all. All right, now let's say that you don't like that drill. Now let's say you don't want to use a hammer drill. Watch how easy and more quiet this drill is. Yeah, I said more quiet. Boom. And you're in. Now, let's look at this hole. Now you should be able to see the difference in the hole size. Now, don't get me wrong, this one has had a tap cone in it and this one has not. But watch after I sink a tap cone in here. All right, we're gonna use the same one. We're gonna back up and use the impact. Boom. All right, we'll take it back out and let's see what looks better. Now, my opinion, and this is just my opinion, guys, look at that hole. Let me slide you close. All right. They look very identical, but this one here was so much easier to drill than this one. So, you know, and a lot less noise completely more quiet than the hammer drill. And SDS is an impressive tool, guys. So, in my opinion, so much better. I've lived using the hammer drill so long that when I got that, I was like, why have I waited so long? Now you saw in the block where it blew out a little bit. So, and that was because I put it too close. And that's no problem. Because the inside going in of your block is where all the threads are and you saw how tight the tap cone stayed. So you wanna make sure that you use the right size tap cone for the job. They label these as medium duty, but I'm here to tell you, I've hung a big gear on it. I've hung a tugger. If you're an electrician, you know what I'm talking about. A floor tugger, pulling 600s in, 500s in, 250s, parallel 250s, so on and so forth. They hold, all right? They, I mean, they're great. The, the, the strength is amazing. Supposedly, I believe they hold. In lightweight block, a quarter inch tap gun, which was what we were using, the tension is 250 pounds, 650 pounds of shear. In medium weight block, 500, and shear is 1,000. So, I mean, you know, does that really mean anything to me? No, I just know that they work and 
they will hold. Now, I did mention, what if the hole's too big? All right, I'm gonna save that one for a different video. Now, if you guys missed the very first anchor video, check right here, click on it, and I will see you guys in that video. If you like what you see, like and subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, everything I used will be down in the description. Amazon link. God bless.